Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, all honor, all glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakach, Wadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching me this truth according to the Bible through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. And a sincere peace and salutation to all you hopeful little Aikim out there pushing his word in all truth and sincerity, doing the work as Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah has created us to do. So he can wake up and seal the elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and you Israelites who are scattered amongst the heathen nations that may look like the heathen nations, but your father's seed line goes back to you being a so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American, one of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. And Shalom, it's your brother Halakia coming back to you once again through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashmi Yahweh with another video. And I have an article right here, man. Just came out, what, yesterday, February 13th. It says what? From Blacklisted News, it says what? Mind Control. WEF, World Economic Forum, technocrats openly plot to observe and track human thoughts with implants. Do you see it? This is not just something... That's being talked about. They they have this in action, man. They're going to roll this out. And we all know what this is. This is an, another form of the MOTB. You see? Now, why is Esau trying to track human thought? It's because he's trying to be the most high, man. Because we know, according to what the scriptures say, this is 2nd Ezra chapter 16, verse uh, 54 says what? Behold, the Lord knoweth all the works of men, their imaginations, their thoughts, and their hearts. Which spake but the word, let the earth be made and it was made. Let the heaven be made and it was created. So this is what Esau is trying to do. He's trying to sit in the seat of the Almighty, Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah, by being able to track your thoughts. And guess what? He's doing that on some small on a small level right now. Cause you can't tell me you've been talking about some or thinking about some. Then the next time you, you get online and the, and the item you were thinking about, it pops up in your browser. You get an email or some type of shit. Because Esau is tracking you. He wanna take he, he but now he want he want he wanna take it to the next level by putting this device up in you. And this is what the men of Great Millstone, beginning with the elder apostle Hart, have been saying. For decades, man, that this is this is what this man is gonna come with. And it's all according to biblical prophecy, man. It's all through the Holy Spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. And now we're seeing this thing being talked about openly. They're not trying to hide it anymore. They're letting you know what it is. You got Elon Musk with his Neuralink. You got the WEF openly talking about this. Basically on the world stage, letting you know what they're gonna come with. And the men of the Lord have let you know that this is what it was gonna be. This is the MOTV, man. You have the RFID, CHIP, and you also have the one that they're going to try to put in your forehead, which is what? Brain-computer interfaces, man. This is what it is. You see? This is what this devil is coming with, man. And why is he doing this? Because this, this is his time. You see? This is the time appointed where Esau was supposed to start to roll this thing out. You see, trying to be like the Most High, man. This is 2 Thessalonians uh, uh, chapter 2, verse 3. It says, well, let no man deceive you by any means. For that day shall not come, and so they come a falling away first. That, that day is talking about what? The second coming of our Lord, Yahweh Shah. That falling away is what? The falling away of the Israelites. We fell away from the understanding of who we were. Now we're, being, we're coming back. You see? And as the Israelites wake up, beginning with the men of the Lord, what is happening to the wicked? What is happening to Esau? He's being exposed. You see? He's being exposed as what? It tells you. And that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. And this is what this is what we're putting the world up on notice through the Holy Spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. We're letting you know exactly who this man, these so-called white people are, the Edomites, beginning with their elites. They are the man of sin. They are the son of perdition. You see? And what would he do? Verse 4 says what? Who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called the Mosai, or that is worshipped so that he is 
that he is as the Most High, sitteth in the temple of the Most High, showing himself that he is the Most High. This is Esau's end game. He's trying to take the place of the Almighty God Yahweh on earth. That's why he's trying to track everything you do. This is why he's trying to govern, you see, every aspect of your life, man. This is why this man is trying to control life. You see? <laughs> he's changing, he's he's changing the water, he's changing the air, he's changing the uh, the food. He's changed the, the 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 he's changed the natural order of how Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah had things set up from the beginning because what? Esau is trying to be the most high. And this is and this is the next step that he's gonna take. To have full control of the people on the earth, he's trying to put these devices in you. You see? This is what this man is coming with. And it's been made it's been made more and more clear each and every day. So let's read a little bit of the article, man. I'm not gonna read this whole thing. You can go you can go find it for yourself, read it for yourself, you see? <laughs> And add it up to what the scriptures say. So it says what? Mind control, WEF, which stands for World Economic Forum, technocrats openly plot to observe and track human thoughts with implants. It says what? Mind control is the final frontier of the technocratic revolution. What you say, do, buy, and sell is increasingly trackable through technology. It says it's increasingly trackable, meaning that you're getting more and more trackable each and every day as technology increases. And we see what they're about to roll out. It's about to get to the point to all you, all you, all you're gonna be, all you're gonna be able to do is be tracked because they're gonna phase out the physical money. You see, the fiat currency, and they're gonna roll out those what. Those CBDCs, man, which is completely trackable, man. Every purchase you make, you see, everything you sell will be tracked and traced because Esau wants to keep up with everything that's happening on the earth. Why is he doing this? It's because he's trying to play the most high on earth, man. You see? So it says what? What you say... Oh, they tracking that now. Just had a, a, a few of the brothers send some articles to the uh, to the chat. Well, Esau is trying to track everything you do. If you playing video games, you, you talking re you talking reckless on there. He's he's uh, uh he's tracking you or, or, or censoring you on social media from 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 Facebook to YouTube. Nothing but censorship is going on, man. Oh, you had another article come out. Uh. uh Talking about how, how the World Economic Forum says uh, extreme extreme measures need to be taken against free thinkers, man. Esau don't want nobody rebelling against him. Esau don't want nobody going against the grain, man. The only ones that Esau is going to keep in line, I'm going to keep around, are those who get in line with this new world order they just rolling out. You see? And if you don't want to go along with the program, he's just going to off you, man. Because that's what this man is. That's what he's going to do. So it says, what you say, do. You see? Taking a page out of, uh, out of China's book. You see with that social, uh, uh, that social credit score. You see? <laughs> they tracking everything you do over there, man. And, and it, dictate, it dictates how you're able to move in their society. That's what's coming here to America, man. You see? China was the test bed for that. So what you say, do, buy, and sell is increasingly trackable through technology. Yet so far, the human mind remains a sanctuary free from prying foreign eyes, the last refuge. And he, want, he, wants to, he wants to tap into that. This is why he has Elon Musk. You see, he's funding this damn Neuralink, man. To put that up into your brain. And the Neuralink ain't the only brain computer interface. It's a, it's, a, it's a few other ones out there, but the Neuralink is the most prominent one. You see? It says what? This will not last if the technocrats have their way. Exactly right, because they don't want you to have no privacy. You see? 
you're always going to be a little blip on their radar once this new society is rolled out, man. Once this great reset finally takes hold. Those who go along with this, man, you're going you're gonna to always be, everything you do is going to be tracked and traced. Oh, you know what? They, they show you that shit in Minority Report, man. Go back and watch those movies. These movies didn't come up by coincidence. It, the, that's the elite letting you know what they're about to do. You see, they showed you that in the Minority Report. They showed you that in Demolition Man with uh, Wesley Snipes and, and, and Sylvester Stallone. What else? It's a few other movies, man. Where you were being tracked and traced. Oh, they show you that shit in End Time. <laughs> being tracked and traced. And this is what... And that's, and that's what the future under Esau looks like, man. You see? It goes on to say, it says, uh, Can you imagine that in 10 years, when we're sitting here, we have an implant in our brains and can immediately feel because you all will have implants gesturing to the audience. I can measure your brain waves. Cartoon James Bond villain Klaus Schwab giddily int introduced the prospect of shared consciousness at Davos. This is what the fuck they was talking about at Davos, man. <laughs> Chipping people. Implanting people with these devices. That's what the whole thing was all about. They're, they're, they're laying it out, you see, <laughs> to move forward with this new world order, man. And all you camps out here who are bullshitting and playing around who are still denying this when the evidence is so goddamn clear, what, what is it going to take? Is, is it gonna, what is it going to take for you to see? It's going to take for you guys to be sitting in the chair and they just they got to come to you with the chip for you to say, oh, that's the mark of the beast now. No, man. It, th this is what it is. If you were spiritual, you would see that this is what it is, man. This is all that's being talked about. This new digital society that's being rolled out which is going to be founded upon what? The RFID, CHIP, and, and, and brain computer interfaces, man. The goddamn technocracy. Where you won't be able to buy, sell, or function in this new society unless you get these devices put up in your body. As the prophecy let us know. As Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai revealed unto the Apostle John on the Isle of Patmos. This is what it is, man. How many fucking articles do you have to see? How many times that the fucking... Does an article have to pop up telling you that the WEF is planning to do this? What else do you need to see, man? The MOTB is exactly what the men of Great Millstone, beginning with the Apostle High, have been saying it is, man. Through the Holy Spirit. You see, then they got some other videos and things on here, man, but I don't want to play those. But let's see. Uh... Look, yep, that's our Bible. I was just about to say that. That's the spirit. It says, uh, so you got another devil right here, one of these damn whacked out professors from Duke. It says, what, Duke? Duke. Pfft, look at that, man. <laughs> the damn Dukes of Edom, man. It says, what, Duke University professor, Nita Farahani, and it's, uh, and she probably a 48er, also at Davos. Survey the current state of mind, te mind monitoring technology. So you can go back and watch our videos or whatever. I just want to read some more on this article. It says what? Likely the technology is actually farther along than publicly acknowledged. We, we're telling you that's what it is. We've been saying this. It's already set up. The shit is, the, the shit is finished. All they're doing now <laughs> is taking you through the test runs. <laughs> And showing you how they go, how they got to the final product, which they already have. These devices are already complete, and they're just rolling. They're just showing you the little test runs they did gradually, man. You see, <laughs> it says what? Likely the technology is fur is actually further along than publicly acknowledged, as the technocrats tend to roll out controversial ev advances incrementally. To slowly acclimate the slaves to their new reality. Gradualism. We begin with our apostles, man. We have been saying this through the Holy Spirit. It's all gradualism. And it's being, it's being that way. 
Look at how your fucking debit card has evolved, man. It went from having a mag strip on the back. You had to sweat the motherfucker. You see, then you had to you had the chip where you can uh you can insert the chip, and now everywhere you go, it's fucking tap to pay. You got the chip on the chip on your card. You can tap to pay. Go about your business. Easy. That technology is set up is set up for you to do what? Use the RFID CHIP. That same technology that's on that card, they want to put that in your body, man. You see? They they've been gradually walk, gradually walking you into it. The big P that popped off at the uh in 2019, that was to get you more in the, in, in the uh a cattle state of mind to go along with the masses. That's why all you clowns lined up and took that damn juice. You see? Because you were you were threatened to lose of, of losing your job. You was following all the damn mandates, wearing the mask everywhere. You see, they were conditioning you, man. It's gonna be the same thing when this is rolled out. You see? This this is the <laughs> this is what Esau wants to bring the entire world into, man. And this man, he's not, and guess what? He's on a mission because it's the will of the most high for him to do this. It says what? Note the apparent lack of hesitation, of any hesitation on the part of Farahani, Schwab, or any of these WEF technocrats to these novel technologies. Normal people who don't crave total control don't casually discuss monitoring every human's Humans' brain activity 24-7, 365, with no acknowledgement of the obvious risks of abuse. The only, log- the only logical conclusion here is that there is something fundamentally broken in, th- in their psychological, spiritual makeup. Because they're the damn devil. They're Edomites, man. They're the man of sin, the son of perdition. They're the wicked that the Bible speaks of. That's what's wrong with them. You see? That's what's wrong with them. You see? The most High has programmed these people to bring forth his mark of the beast. So they're not going to stop. They're going to continue to go until this thing is rolled out, until, until they get as many people as the most High ordained them to get. You see? It says what? The only logical conclusion here is that there is something fundamentally broken in the psychological, spiritual makeup that allows them to decouple their normal human intuition from the work in advancing, uh, from their work advancing the science. Not because this is Esau. That's Esau's guy. Science, his wicked knowledge, man. Knowledge that's completely rebellious against Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shah. That's who this man is. Look at. Look at what he's doing in the earth. Everything that the Most High said is right. Esau said, nah, we're not going to do it that way. We're going to do it this way. Now a man can be a woman. Now a woman can be a man. Now a child can change their gender at eight years old. You see? <laughs> now you can eat 3D printed meat. You see? Now you can eat GMO foods. So Esau is trying to establish his wicked knowledge in the earth. And it's causing everything to be destroyed, man. He's doing this because what? He doesn't serve the almighty God of the Bible. He serves himself. He, he serves science, man. You see? It says, well, Farhani's WEF talk featured a short accompanying, accompanying, accompanying narrative animation to help digest what unrelenting surveillance of the mind might mean for every, every uh, everyday life. The story center centers around a fictitious dystopian te- techno hell office in which the victim's boss monitors her brain activity to make sure she's doing her work and not fantasizing about sex with her coworker, given the policy against intra office romance. This is what's coming, man. This is the future under Esau. Total control over every living being, man. You see, it says what? Government agents later show up <laughs> at the prop at the protagonist's work uh, workplace, commandeer every office worker's brain activity, and call through it indiscriminately to to look for synchronized brain activity. 
between co-workers to see who was thinking what illegal who was thinking what illegal thoughts. And this is crazy, man. But you man, y'all y'all can read the rest of that, man. Go and read that article. It's uh, blacklisted news, man. It's right there. But yeah, this is what this man is this is what this man is coming with. And we've been telling you, man. We've been saying it. We've been saying it over and over and over again. You see? This is what this man is about to do. And it's all through the spirit. So let's get the uh let's get the prophecy of revelation, man. Because it's coming. You see, we don't like just speaking for myself. I've made so many videos on the MOTB, it's, it's ridiculous, man. And I ain't even been in the truth that long. <laughs> so I know, compared to how many Apostle Tahar, Apostle Gabal, Apostle uh, Rakan, Apostle Aramlab has made, Aramlab has made with the with the elders, you know what I'm saying, all the heads of the, all the heads of the different camps, man, and all the brothers all throughout GMS, man. We made countless videos on the MOTB, man. So there will be no excuse when this thing is finally rolled out. Ain't going to be no, oh, what should I do? What the fuck you mean what you should do? What should you do? We've been telling you. The Apostle have been telling you 35 plus years what, what the fuck was coming. And here it is. And it's going to continue to manifest more and more each and every day until you're going to be sitting down in the fucking office space one day. They're going to come in there with that big ass syringe and it's going to be right there in your face. This is what's coming, man. Or you got your ass laid down on the damn lab table somewhere, sticking a damn neural link in your brain. This is what's coming. All this other bullshit you camps are talking about, uh, 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 the, the, the MOTB is sin, it's, it's a spiritual mark. We don't see that being pushed forth. Show us a system where you buy and sell with sin, man. How is that possible? How, how do you measure sin to buy and sell with it? If I want to go get a bag of Doritos, if I want to go get a bag of rice, you see, some drumettes, some Texas Pete, or whatever. I take it up to the counter. Tell me how do I weigh out sin to buy and sell with it. If I want to go through a drive-thru, or whatever, how, how do I order my food and pay for it with sin? How does that work? Because if, that, if it is what you're claiming it is, you have to show us a system that's being set up for us to, to, to buy and sell with that, man. It's not happening. But we do, see a uh, we do see the technology being rolled out for you to buy and sell in the digital society, man. Because the mark of the beast is exactly what the man of Great Millstone have been saying it is, man. And there's nothing other than that. It's not something uh, spiritual. It's not saying it's not white women. It's white women. How the fuck? How do I find? How do I buy and sell with white women? How the fuck does that work? How do you buy? How do you buy and sell with a spiritual mark? It's not spiritual. It's physical, and it's something that they're gonna put in your body, man. And there's, there's countless articles out there showing you what it is. But let's get into the prophecy, man. Revelation 13 and 16, it says what? <laughs> you dudes is crazy, man. Revelation 13 and 16 says what? And he calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand, R-F-I-D-C-H-I-P, or in their foreheads, Neuralink, or any type of brain-computer interface. And he's going to force this upon the entire earth, man. You see? <laughs> You see, they, these motherfuckers, are taking, they taking it so far, they're going to they gonna chip everybody pets in Houston, man. Everybody dog got to get a chip. This is what Esau taking it at, man. He's going to force this upon everybody. Small, great, rich, poor, free, bond. If you're in this man's society, if you're on this planet Earth, he's going to threaten you with this, man. You see? And how is he going to threaten you? Verse 17 lets you know. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. So you won't be able to function in society as you're doing now, unless you get one of these devices put up in you. 
Because when everything is made digital, when those CBDCs are, roll, are fully rolled out and you have to have a digital wallet, that shit is going to be on that RFID CHIP or on that fucking Neuralink, man. If you don't have those devices, you're not going to be able to just walk up in the store as you're doing now, throw a $5 bill down and get you, get you whatever. You see? You got a cart full of groceries. You're taking your groceries to the front. Think you're about to pull your cash out and pay for some shit. That's not finna happen. Physical money is being completely phased out. Call a lawyer. How about you, me? Oh, shot. Physical money is being uh, phased completely out for the, to make way for what? This new digital society, man. And if you don't get these devices, you're not going to be able to function. Because best believe, <laughs> they're going to know if you got it or not, man. Probably have some type of uh, readers at the door. You see? You walk through the door, you got the, you got the, uh, uh, the MOTB, the reader, a flash green. If you don't got it, the shit will go off and start alarming. <clears throat> you see? This is what it is, man. Nothing other than this. It says what? And that no man, uh, Revelation 13 and 17. And that no man might, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark of the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that count, the, let him that have understanding count the number of the beast. For it is the number of a man, and his number is 603 score and 6. The man who is pushing this forth are those who you see at the WEF, man. You see? Well, you know what? It goes higher than the WEF. You got the fucking, the top banking elite who are above the WEF giving them orders, man. Tell them to roll this thing out. Tell them, giving the script of what, what needs to be revealed to the public. The elite of Esau Edom, they're the ones who are pushing this forth through their little cronies, their little puppets at the WEF, man. 603 score and 666. In the Greek, it's chasai stigma. Stigma goes into a mark made by a pointed instrument. What's the pointed instrument? The, the, the apparatus they're going to use to, to, to tag you with that damn RFID CHIP or with that Neuralink. Letting you know it's something physical that they're going to try to put in you. This is why it's important for you to go into the words, man. You see? We know what it is. Go do your research. Go look these things up. Study to show thyself approved, man. You see? Go see for yourself. And be persuaded in your own mind. Because at the end of the day, that's what it's going to come down to. Because every one of us is going is, is to be faced uh, uh, with this great test during the time of the hour of temptation. You see? To see if you truly believe. This is what's coming, man. 444. Hey, call her you How about you? <laughs> Lord willing. <laughs> it says what? Let's get the uh, so let's get the judgment. Because you have a lot of cats out here, a lot of guys out here talking about well, they 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 basically operate in the, in, the, in the space of gray area. Saying, uh, uh uh what if I get it and I can take it out when I see how a shot return? I uh, I get it, and I see how a shot come out, I take it out. Nah. You've already made your decision to even let them put that thing up in you. You bend the knee. You gave up. Because the reason you would let them do that is because you don't truly have faith. That was your plan B. I'm going to get this just in case your Howard shot don't come back. You see, so I won't be out here looking crazy. I'm going to get it because I don't know if you're going to come back or not. That's, that's how you moving, man. If you're in that spirit of, oh, I'm going I'm to I'm I'm get it and I'm going to pluck it out when your Howard shot come. Or I'm going to get it and I'll cut my hand off. When that time, man, nah, don't play those games, man. Just don't fucking get it. Don't get it. You see, because the most High has made it clear what's going to happen. You see that? The most High has made it clear what's going to happen to any one of us. And I say one of us because if I get it, I'm going to get my, we're going to get cooked. That's the truth of the matter, man. If any of us Israelites Get this device or these devices put up in our bodies. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is going to fucking cook us 
by way of that two by way of those two hundred million thermonuclear warheads that's gonna rain down upon Babylon the Great, man. You better believe it. Because the Lord is not playing. You see? Revelation 14, it says what? Doom for worshipers of the beast. So if you're in that spirit of worshiping Esau and his and his society continuing on, you see, and you think that he gonna he gonna overcome the most high, so you're gonna go along with him and you're gonna side with the enemy to take his CHIP or his fucking Neuralink so you can continue on in the society, man. Your ass is gonna be done in. That's why it tells you, man, those that can sit unto him shall be had in derision and in reproach. And shall be trodden underfoot, man. You're going to be made a little stupid out here. You see? So Revelation 14 and 9, it says, And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast. Now, what is the beast? The beast is the system ran by Esau. You see? Babylon, NATO, and the EU. That's the beast. It says what? And his image. His image is what? His wicked-ass lifestyle, which is founded upon... The ancient Roman Empire, man. Just the disorder of things. The manner of life. The wicked doctrines and philosophies, man. How Esau is running this place. You see? And what he allows to go on. That's a part of the image. And receive his mark, which is what? In his forehead or in his hand. I just explained that earlier. You see? What's going to happen if you're in this spirit of going along with Esau Thinking that he, oh, he got the best system. It don't get no better than this. I want to continue my miserable life in here. So I'm going to get, I'm going to get tagged up. I'm going to get branded so I can continue my miserable existence working at the fucking post office for the rest of my life. You see? What's going to happen if you're in that spirit, man? You're going along just to keep your punk ass job here in America. That's, that's ordained to be destroyed. What's going to happen to you? You're going to be destroyed right along with this place, man. Verse 10 says what? The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. That's that nuclear destruction that's set to befall America, man. If you go along with Esau and this little program that he got set up, you see, and you want to be a part of the new world order, the great reset, you, you, you loving it, you trying, to, you trying to continue on in that, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah is going to melt you. And I'm talking to you Israelites, you so-called black, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You see? Because the most I don't give a damn about what the heathen do. The heathen can get a damn uh, 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 MOTB in every portion of their body. They're going to be destroyed regardless if they're here in the land of America. This message, as it, as it has always been, is to you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. If any of you go and get these devices put up in you, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah is going to melt you with, with uh, nuclear fire, man. You see? Verse 11 says what? And the smoke of their torment ascend up forever and ever. And they have no rest, day nor night, who worship the beast and his image, and whosoever receiveth the mark of his name. Do you hear that? You see? That's the judgment for any Israelite who takes the MOTB. No matter what form it comes in. You see, no matter which form you take, whether that be in your hand or in your forehead, you still you're gonna be destroyed, regardless. But if we continue on in faith, talking to the true believers, the elect of Israel, Lord willing, I'm I'm of that number. You see? What do you how shall tell us? Revelation three, because we see it, we see it coming down to the wire, man. They they are they are making moves to push this thing forward. <laughs> but Revelation 3 and 10 lets us know what? Because I have kept the word of my patience, I will also I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. The hour of temptation is when these devices are made mandatory for you to have to live and operate in this society. That's the hour of temptation. And a lot of people are going to fold under the pressure because they don't have what? They don't have the spirit of the Lord upon them. A lot of you Israelites who proclaim to be in the truth, a lot of you are going to fold under the pressure because what? You haven't taken this thing serious, man. You see? 
Because the most I tells you that you false prophets are going to be taken, you're going to be uh, done in by the thing that you didn't say, uh, that you said wasn't, uh, wasn't going to happen. And a lot of your congregation is going to follow you right to the slaughter, man. But for those, for us, Lord willing, I'll be a part of that number. But for us who believe in Yahweh Shah, he promised to take care of us, man, when, when this thing is made mandatory and the world is tried by it. Because it's coming. It is coming, man. Let's get this in a different version. Let's see what it says. Uh, NLT. I'm getting a GNT, too. Revelation 3 and 10 in the GNT. I mean, uh, NLT, it says what? Because you have obeyed my command to, to persevere, I will protect you from the great time of testing that will come upon the world the whole world to test those who belong to this world. So all these people who are who are loving how this little system that Esau has established is uh, set up. You love you love to be in it. You love to be a part of it. You Israelites who have denied this truth. You have shunned the men of the Lord. You shunned the message of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Your ass is going to be taken in this when it comes, man. You see? You're going to be taken in it when it comes. Because a great time of testing is about to be unleashed in the earth. And the only ones who are going to pass the test are who? The true believers of Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shah, man. The elect of the nation of Israel. So let me get one more. I want to get that in another. I want to see what it says in the GNT. I know the GNT is, 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 is dope, but sometimes it just it goes off sometimes. That's why you have to be careful with the translations. So let's get Revelation 3. Uh, 3. Revelation 3 and 10. Revelation 3 and 10, it says what? Because you have kept my command to endure. Because Yahweh Shah said what? He that endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. Lord willing, that's us. I will also keep you safe from the time of trouble, which is coming upon the world to test all the people of the earth. There it is. All you fucking Christians out here talking about you believe in God, this and that. You're going to be tried. You two-third Israelites. <laughs> you're going to be tried. You see, and mainly... You see, those who know their Israelites first and foremost, we're going to be tried. Because we know what to do. But Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah willing, man. He gives us the spirit to endure and overcome, you know, and, and just complete the mission, man. But this thing is coming. It's being rolled out. It's being rolled out. Like the article said, they're, far, they're, far, they're further along in the process than they're leading on, man. You see? And that's why that shit's gonna come upon you out of nowhere, man, as a thief in the night. <laughs> but you've been warned. So with that, I'm gonna give all praise, all honor, all glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham Rakakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching me this truth according to the Bible through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah. And a sincere peace and salutation to all you, hopefully, like I came out there pushing this word in all truth and sincerity. Doing the work as Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah has created us to do. And with that, I'm going to say Shalom Wah, Ba Ba Ba.